anyone who has IBD, inflammatory bowel disease, Crohn's disease, or um, ulcerative colitis, uh, SIBO, any disease, I have an ebook uh, called Reversing Crohn's Disease Organically on Amazon. And it's a step by step process on what I did to reverse my Crohn's disease. I am not a medical doctor, I'm just a dentist. But this was my protocol of what I did. And I linked it to all the scientific studies that verified how I put together this program. It's really easy. And if you're on big farmers medications, it doesn't matter. You should still look at this. Send it to a friend. Okay. Right. Contact right. me directly. I charge um, $5 for it on Amazon. But if you contact me with a story, I'll send it to you for free. Okay. okay. I want to have a testimonial. All yeah. right. Okay. Okay. So, um, so once you get told you have an autoimmune disease, it's you're told it's genetic. And I was told, this is what you got. You're Eastern European Jewish descent. You get Crohn's disease. Too bad. Now, over the years, I went to many different doctors to figure out what can I do because these medications I was taking were terrible. But I tried the new ones. Nothing really helped me. Um, at that time, the diet for Crohn's disease was really non-existent because no one really knew what was causing this, and no one cared. So I had, you know, doctors say, eat only vegetables, don't eat any meat. And I had another doctor say, don't eat any vegetables, eat only meat. I didn't get that advice, eat only meat, because we were just getting into a time where we were told that meat wasn't good in the 1980s. My mom came home and said, sorry, kids, we're changing our diet. She made meat six nights a week, and she was a great cook, and she shifted to pasta. Gee, yeah. I wonder why I got fat. Great. Yeah. Um, you know, that that's what we went through in the 80s. We brought in sunscreen and margarine and toxic crap. Uh, my life was destroyed. Every moment, every joy, every fun thing I was supposed to do didn't exist because it was just all about the bathroom. And it wasn't just the pain and the embarrassment and the running to the bathroom. It was the fear of embarrassing myself in front of people as a grown man, the fear of being on a plane, not having a bathroom. And it, it's the neuroses of improper sleep with low vitamin D, anxiety, depression, and what it comes down to is being stuck in fight or flight and not getting to rest and digest. And that's where sleep apnea comes in. So I was sick for my entire life until I started to get worse with anxiety, depression, MRSA, methicillin resistant staph aureus, and severe bruxism. And I was unhappy. I was diagnosed with sleep apnea by accident. So what sleep apnea is, is it's one of the aspects of the disease that I'm calling the modern epidemic. That's my book. And it's the syndrome of being disconnected from your, your natural habitat. Sleep apnea is root cause is low vitamin D. Why? Because vitamin D regulates the gut microbiome and the gut microbiome makes B vitamins. You'll see in my book, a cartoon character called the bees. There are eight B vitamins. B12 is just one of them. If you take B12, great. But there are eight B vitamins and they really work together. They collaborate. So if you don't have enough B vitamins, specifically B5, but many of the other ones, you can't run your mitochondria properly and you can't make acetylcholine. Acetylcholine is a neurotransmitter and it's the primary neurotransmitter of the rest and digest portion of the autonomic nervous system. And that's it. That's why everyone's stuck in, they're stressed. Everyone's stuck in fight or flight and they can't gear down for sleep. If you're listening to this and you have insomnia, you can't shut your mind off. This is why your body doesn't have enough B vitamins and you cannot make acetylcholine. You'll be lying in bed with your mind racing. Doctors to trust .com. Please share this video with loved ones.